It is week nine, day one. And while it can seem a little overwhelming, we're only on week nine. There's so many more to go in this project of reading through the Bible. I still think we need to celebrate this milestone. You know, any large endeavor like this, it needs to be taken step by step. And it can seem overwhelming if we try to look at it as a huge thing all to be done all at once. But just like the old joke, how do you eat an elephant? one bite at a time. How do we read the Bible? One day at a time, a few chapters at a time, and we will get through this together. So keep up the good work. You're doing great. Well, today we continue in the journey of numbers, specifically chapters six through nine. And just as we're journeying through scripture, the Israelites here are getting ready for a journey. They're getting ready to leave Mount Sinai. They've been here for a year since God brought them out of Egypt through the Red Sea, through the wilderness. They've been here at Mount Sinai, where God has been in the process of preparing them. You can think of this as God's spiritual boot camp in some ways. You know, for the last 400 some years, the Israelites had been slaves to the Egyptians. What they knew at this point was Egyptian culture and Egyptian worship. And now in the past year at Mount Sinai, God has instructed them on what it means to be God's people, to live under God's rule and not under the rule of other people. And so it's been a time of learning and it hasn't always been easy. We're going to find that uh, it's not easy ever (laughs) with human beings, not just the Israelites, but us as well. Well, here they're preparing to leave, but the one thing that they can rely on is that God's presence will continue to be among them and God will guide their steps. These are truths that we can take to heart as well. You know, God is with us. God sent his own Holy Spirit to dwell in us, to guide us day by day. And God always gives us the assurance that we're never left alone. Even in the times when we are the most confused, when we are the most heartbroken, when we are the most afraid, God is with us. And God will guide our steps just in the same way that he assures the Israelites in these chapters.